everyone thanks for joining me today and tuning back into my channel um, today what I wanted to go over was our front flower bed we just recently redid it inside the flower bed originally we had nine bushes which consisted of Ligustrum and Nandina bushes and I will post a picture of what that looked like before um, obviously the first thing that bothered me was the fact that everything in our flower bed um, was bushes. Secondly, the thing that bothered me was everything was shaped in a spear. So there was no, no difference in shape, and not really any difference in texture. Um, then Andina did offer some fall color for me, but I'm just not really a big fan of Nadina. I think it's beautiful in the right spots, but the way the bushes were with the boxwoods and then the ligustrum and then the nandino we was having to keep everything trimmed accordingly and they're all really aggressive growers um i wouldn't say boxwoods are aggressive growers but the nandina and the ligustrum was definitely aggressive so we did um i did finally convince my husband to let me pull them out and which is what we did um, so I'm going to take you up front and actually show you what it looks like now. Um, keep in mind, we've, we're supposed to be cutting our grass this evening, so please ignore the grass. But yeah, I'll take you up front. Well, here's the flower bed, guys. You know what I just noticed when I came out here? I was in for a big surprise. Because let me show you. Notice anything? Let's look at this one. And I'm sorry about my shadow. The sun is awful right now. See, look at this. So, what happened, I'm assuming is the rabbits have gone and ate my plants. So I'm going to have to run to Lowe's and find a rabbit deterrent. Yeah, my rabbit statues did not mean that this was a rabbit buffet. So yeah, this is what happens. They've never eaten my plants before, so I guess that's one of the things about having bushes versus having plants. So, anyways, I am so mad. I am so mad, you guys. <sighs> okay, it's just one of those things. It will grow. I'm, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be mad. Okay, so let's go over what I planted. I did leave the boxwoods because I like the boxwoods. They were fine. Um, and I'm trying to film this the best I can with the sun. Um, this is Autumn Joy Sedum, and I thought this would be a good choice since the flowers have interest as far as fall interest and also the white and the cream which I think is really pretty um let's see this here well I guess I should tell you autumn joy sedum is a perennial so it will come back every year it will start looking pretty nasty um in the winter but that's okay once spring comes we can trim it back and it will grow and it will get bigger right now to me it looks like broccoli <laughs> But anyways, for the border grass, we did um, Liriope, and what's commonly more known for lily grass, well, I guess it's lily turf or monkey grass, and let me go to one that's not eaten up. This is the variegated one. It's not as aggressive as the one that is not variegated but I was thinking this would mound up and look really good as a border and it's also a perennial so what we'll do is in spring 
we'll cut it back and it will grow. So it's not a big deal that the rabbits ate it. It will, it will grow back. Um, it's pretty hard to kill this stuff. And the good thing about these plants is they both like it hot and they both like it pretty dry. So another reason that I went with these plants is because they're low maintenance. In the pots, we're going to end up putting moms, but I'm not getting any moms right now because it is still really hot in our zone. We are in zone 7A, which is, um, well, we live in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. On the other side of my flower bed, I did put a couple of um, larapes, and we have a lemon thread cypress, but it was already here. Well, it wasn't already here when we moved. We had a bush there and it died and I really like the lemon thread cypress so that's what we put there and it's been a great plant. This is my mandevilla vine and it has just done wonderful. To be honest with you guys I have not even like hardly watered this I think the whole summer like maybe a handful. I can definitely count it on one hand how many times I watered this this plant this summer and it has just done beautiful I have not fertilized it I have not done anything it is a um, annual in our zone but you can overwinter it in the garage or inside and it will survive so I may do that we will see I'm so ready to plant things up for fall but it is just so hot all right guys Okay guys, we are back and I just wanted to leave some final thoughts here and I guess it would be to say, you know, this has not really been a good week for me as far as my garden goes or my plants. Um, if you saw my uh, video before this, we had worms on our strawberries and I did treat them with neem oil and I do not see any more, but there is a lot of um, leaf damage to the strawberry plants which I'm going to probably cut off the really damaged leaves and um, just keep checking it to make sure I don't need to respray. Um, I'm about to go to Lowe's and get some rabbit deterrent to deter the rabbits from eating at the rabbit buffet. These things happen and you know we're, we're keeping it real to show you guys this video did totally well this video did not go anything like how I was expecting it to go but but anyways, guys, this is this is all part of it, and things don't go as we plan, and you know it keeps it interesting, and I we keep learning from things that happen and what we can do, and well, I guess for anybody who doesn't know, rabbits like liriope. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and please tune in next week, and we'll see how our products have done. Thanks, bye.